The barcode scanner can be used to share easily information with your friends and we want to look at how we can create some barcodes and also how we can later scan them, the barcodes, with our camera again. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by first of all creating here in our UI our barcode and therefore I have already created here this text field and a button and here we can then type the data which is then displayed in our barcode. Therefore we go here to our barcode create page which I have created and here inside we basically have our text field which is this one here and next to it we have this button. And on top of it, here in our column, we want to display then this barcode and therefore we use here a container and I put here a white color inside and some padding and inside of it I want to display the black barcode. And for showing this barcode in our UI, we simply make use of this barcode widget plugin and make sure to put this here under your dependencies inside of your pubspec journal file. Then we can go back to our page and here in our container we want to create our child where we put our barcode widget inside which comes directly from this plugin. And here inside we can then set the barcode type and we set here for example this code 128. However you also have here a lot of other options to choose. In the last tutorial we looked at the QR code and this time we take here this code 128. After it, we also want to set here the data property inside and basically we want to set here the text inside which we have already created. So I have here a text editing controller which has then the value of our text field and we simply access now this controller and put here the text value inside and out of this then the barcode is generated. And in case we don't have a barcode, you can also set here an initial value. Now our barcode looks like this, however you can also change here the width and height and then you can make it for example in a square format. And now if you type here something and then you click here on this button, then we generate here our new barcode and how we are doing this is that our button here is every time calling on pressed the set state so it will update our UI and with it it will also update here our barcode. And like you can see our barcode also has here directly this text inside. However, if you don't like to have this behavior, you also can set here draw text to false and then the text will not be displayed within our barcode. And now every time if we change here the text a bit, then we every time generate here a different barcode. Let's also look at the second part to actually scan a barcode and therefore you have then your camera and the barcode will be scanned. And then we show here the result or the information which is stored within our barcode. Therefore I have created here a new barcode scan page and with this page we have here basically a button and if we click then on this button then we want to execute the scanning process. Therefore we go here inside and create a new method scan barcode if we click on this button. After it we create here at the top a new field which is called barcode and here we want to put then later our barcode inside which we got as a result back and then we create here our scan barcode method and within it we first of all call this flutter barcode scanner and to make use of this flutter barcode scanner you need to go to the pubspec jumble file and under your dependencies you need to put this flutter barcode scanner inside. Then we can go here back to our file and also call the scan barcode method and here we need to supply some things. So first of all we supply here a color which is an hex code and the supplied color is basically the line color which we have for our scanning process and in this case we have here a kind of red color. After it we need to set here a text and here I set for example cancel inside and this will be then later displayed here at the bottom and you can also choose here different text if you like and like you can see we also have here flash and if you like to have this flash symbol also here inside then you also need to set here after it true otherwise if you don't want to have this flash inside then you simply set it to false. Lastly we set here then the scan mode to barcode and here in our scan mode we have two types first of all QR and barcode and we have 
looked at the QR code in the last tutorial, so if you haven't watched it, then check it also out. And this time we want to make use of the barcode. This method here opens the camera and after the scan we get then here back the barcode. And what we do then is to actually check if our application is mounted so that we can do the state update. And then we want to put here our barcode which we scanned inside of our field here at the top. And we also want to call here set state so that our UI gets updated. Also we want to put here a try and catch around so that we can catch any errors. And in this case I will simply put here the barcode to failed to get platform version which we later display here within our application. And the last thing we need to do here is to basically go inside of our widget and we replace this barcode text with our real barcode. So I simply put here the barcode inside and then our real barcode is displayed. By the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more advanced developer. And after it, you can then click on this button and then it will start the scanning process and you can then scan your barcode and get the result back. For all of you who want to use this barcode scanner on iOS, there you need to do some more setup steps and this is what we want to look at right now. Therefore, you simply go into your terminal or console and after it, you go to the location of your project and here we have basically all the files inside and what we want to do is we want to remove this iOS folder. So simply remove here your iOS folder and click enter. And now we have the iOS folder deleted. After it, you can type flutter create eSwift with a dot after it. And this will then again create the iOS folder. And this time Swift is supported automatically. Then you go again to this iOS folder and open it up in Xcode. And this is only what you can do on a Mac. So you cannot do this on a Windows machine. Here inside you go to the runner section and also put here the deployment target to the version at least to 11.0. After it you go to the build settings and here inside you search for Swift. And then you scroll here all the way down and you go to the language version of our Swift. And here it has to be at least 5. After it you should close your Xcode. Go again here inside of the terminal and then you go into the iOS folder and here you need to call then the pod install and after it the setup on iOS is completed. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!